Oh, what are you all looking at? Pug Nation. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Pug Nation here. I am very excited to bring you this episode. This is the episode where we will go ahead and build our semi automatic mining system. I cannot wait to bring you this. We will be utilizing the pits, which I have shown off in this tutorial here. That is the Pug Nation item transportation system. It will be the integral component of this semi-automatic mining system. Also, real quick, just show you what I did off camera since we last saw each other. In the last episode, we failed miserably to get uh, redstone ore, so I ended up just going back to my old base off camera, getting a bunch, and we are all set to go. That's so weird. They're all looking right at me. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> but decided I need to start planting crops to get this area underway. Uh, have a little shed. Oh, where's my? There it is. <laughs> have a little shed build here. This is where I'm going to keep my seeds and my my wheat, my potatoes, my carrots, whatever. Um, have a little staircase going up here to a little flat area where I will be building my home in this taiga biome. That will be for a different episode, however. And now we are ready to get to the task at hand. I'm very excited to show you guys this. This is going to be awesome. It's going to make mining so much more efficient and way more fun. Just because adding redstone to anything always makes it more fun, right? Right, right, definitely. <laughs> so, like I said, what are the components of the semi-automatic mining system? What is semi-automatic about it? Um, the item transportation, in short. So... Let me go through the components of it. Where I'm standing, I'm going to have a rail station for people. This is um, where I will be transported to the mine. So just a little station here. Uh, I'm going to have a little cart track set up here. So with the push of a button, I will be boosted down some rails through this little thing and through that wall down at a 45 degree angle all the way to bedrock where I will have the mine. Um, unfortunately, you will have to mine everything by hand, but instead of coming back to the surface with a full inventory every two minutes to unload your pockets, we will be utilizing the pits. With the press of a button, we will be able to sing, uh, excuse me, to send a, a mine cart with chest up from bedrock to a warehouse. That minecart with chest will be unloaded completely into a chest in said warehouse and returned automatically to bedrock to be reloaded by me. Awesome, right? <laughs> I can't wait. Um, also, not in this episode probably, but maybe in the next, I want to add an item sorter so I could differentiate between the cobblestone that I'm going to have tons of and like the redstone ore and diamonds and, uh, 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 you know, whatever else I find on there, gold, iron, I might add in an automatic sorting system. Um, once I get around to it, that'll probably be in the next episode. Um, another thing I'm going to add, I want to be able to call iron pickaxes or whatever kind of pickaxes and shovels from the warehouse down to the mine automatically with the press of a button so oh i'm mining down there my pickaxe breaks oh press a button pickaxe comes right to me from the warehouse oh i'm mining my inventory's full no it isn't load up your mine cart push that button send it on its way the mine cart comes back all your items are safe and sound in your warehouse. Awesome. Can't wait to show you guys. Let's get started. All right. So I did a bunch of work off camera. I added a walkway from here connected to a little bit of a bridge, which will go over to where our rail station is. I also had to move the nether portal because it was like right there. So I moved that over there. Eventually, I'm going to put the nether portal in my house, which of course I haven't built yet. And I also spent a long time digging out the 
tunnel already. The tunnel is already dug out. So the boring part has already happened. Let me show you that. Well, not completely dug out, but most of it has been. So let's go over there. Oop, gotta climb up here. Do 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 do. They're still looking, and they say, "What are you guys all looking at?" All right, so, so the train's gonna come. There's where the station is. It's gonna go through this thing, come through here, and voila! So yeah, so this was a lot of work. I already have a ton of cobblestone that now I have nowhere to put because I don't have the warehouse yet. But check this out. Oh yeah, this is going to be the mine hub. So I was thinking about how would I do this. I think I'm going to put the pits is going to be like right here. So the chest where you load your items in to get sent away. I'm going to put it right here. The button to call the cart, or excuse me, to send the cart to the warehouse, I'm going to put right here. So I'll be mining. Um, I think I'm going to put like branch tunnels, one diagonally that way, that way, put one that way, that way, you know, at all the corners and whatnot. And then um, the track for the cart is going to fly down here and stop here. Um, this is where I've decided I'm going to put the warehouse right above this. So I was thinking about ways. How would I call more pickaxes down to me? How could I do that? And I decided the easiest way would be to just use gravity. So the warehouse is actually whoop going to be way up there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a dropper. And when you hit a when you hit excuse me, when you're standing here and you hit a button, either it's going to drop a shovel or a pickaxe, it'll fall into a hopper. And then the hopper will feed it into a chest. I figured that would be the easiest way to do it. I was thinking about I mean there's a lot of ways you could have it come down in the minecart and go back into the box where the pits is going to be, but... Meh, this is simple. <laughs> so anyways, it's time to build the rail station. I'm trying to think what I'm going to need to do with this. Uh, no, 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 don't need any of this stuff, really. Throw all this away. No, I might need that. I don't know. Torches, always good to have. Let's chop down some more trees. I think I'm going to try to just mimic that look. Um, not going to really do anything too complicated, of course, because... Whoa, achievement get. Oh, I know why. I uh, took off the snapshot, and then I put it back. And when you do that, it resets all of your... <laughs> That's funny. I guess it must reset all of your uh, achievements. I was like, getting one? What? This is episode 23! I think I have plenty of wood. Alright. Anyways, station right here. How are we going to do it? So this is where the tracks are going to be. Um, I guess we'll just make the floor out of wood. And... Yeah, just going to rip that look off. Get this out of my way. Put it out of the way right over here. Boop. And... Yeah, just start building this up, right? Like this. Well, how about like this? This will be a little doorway, little entrance way. Let's see, is that going to be enough? I kind of want there to be room to have two tracks going out. Yeah, definitely. I want two tracks going out because the warehouse is going to be kind of far away. Um, one of the problems, I could make the warehouse like right here, but I want to make it further away. Um, I want to make it right under the, like I was saying earlier, I want to make it right under the, the mine area. That way I can, um, that way I could just have the pickaxe fall down to me. I think that would just be the easiest thing to do. All right, how tall do we need to build it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. How about... That's probably fine, right? Yeah, I'm trying to kind of mimic that look. It's kind of what I'm going for. 
Let's see, it's four, three up, and then the beam goes across. Three up, beam across. Perfect! There we go. Nailed it! Nailed it. One, two, three. Four. Oh, man. This is why I built things off camera, because I spend all my time derping around. <laughs> How do I build this? I don't know. I don't know. Build this up. One, two, three, four. Two across. Beam across like that. And beam across like that. Perfect. And then I'm going to make the floor out of the planks. Oh, this is good. This will be the perfect size. I'll have enough room to have two tracks. One for the mine and another one for the warehouse. So this works out pretty well. This works out perfectly, actually. All right. Back with some more building materials. Going to put some cobblestone around the whole thing. Like this. All right, looks good. And complete the floor. And put a little wall in here. Put a wall in like that. Oop, not like that. And let's see, I need windows somewhere. I guess we'll put the windows there and there. Or how about one big window? One big window! Love it! Ding ding dong dong ding! Dong dong dong! And ta da! Alright! Finish up this wall. Alright, looking good. So here's our train station. So, how is this actually gonna work? I think we're gonna have to have the tracks. I guess we'll have the tracks here. We'll have two booster rails right there with the torch underneath them. Uh, we'll put a button. Where will we put a button? Hmm. Put a button like right there. Or right there. Yeah, okay. We'll put the button there. Hit the button. We'll go to a redstone dust, which will connect to. Uh, Two torches, which will be placed under our booster rails right here, which will send us on our way. Doing a little bit of the detail work. Da -da -da -da. Make like a windowsill or something. Cool. All right. That'll look good. Now let's put a roof on. If you like it, then you should have put a roof on it. Well, I did put a roof on it. What? <laughs> Must have... More, way more stairs. Alrighty, right, right. Bop, bop, ba -dee, bop, 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 bop. And what? <laughs> okay. Woo, woo, making them stairs. All right, that should be enough. Fifty-one. Actually, it might not be enough, but we can always make more. We got plenty of wood. Also, have plenty of stone and stone bricks. After digging out that giant tunnel. All right, again, gonna kind of rip off that look. So how how did I do that? <laughs> All right, looking good, looking good. Got the roof on, yeah! All right, we got the roof on. All right, so now we just need to start laying track down to the mine, which conveniently you can see through the world right there. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay the track down to the mine off camera all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a booster rail here like I was saying before put a button there that button's gonna be wired via redstone under the floor to a torch underneath the boosters and um, just gonna build a little bit of a bridge over there and then I will meet you back at the warehouse this doesn't look like the warehouse <laughs> no we are back in the mining hub I decided I needed to change something so instead of having the minecart uh, that will transport me, come down here, and stop in the middle of the floor. I've decided I'm going to have it instead come up to a station up above and then have ladders coming down to here. The reason uh, will be more apparent in the next episode, but it has to do with how I'm going to connect the mining tunnels with the item transportation system. Alright, so now this is set up the way I want it. So you're going to come down from your minecart from up above. Up there, come down here, 
stop in your station, you'll get out of your car, and down you will go to the mining system. Awesome! And to get back up, I have this hooked up to... As I'll show you. I just have this hooked up, there's like a little cave in here, to a repeater, goes through the wall, and when you push the button, lights up the repeater, boosts you on your way. Awesome! Okay, we are here at the site where I will be building the warehouse. This is a shaft that goes all the way down to my uh, mining hub. And I'm going to go ahead and cover that back up. That's going to be important because that's where I'm going to have... I'm going to have droppers on either side of this. And when you push a button, it will trigger the droppers to drop either a shovel or a pickaxe. So we're going to kind of build... use that as kind of our guide as to where we are relative to down below. So first things first, we've got to clear out this area. All right, well, we have cleared enough room, I think. Um, man, so how am I gonna start building it? You get, get out of my way. Get out of my way, pig, yeah, you run. Uh, get out of here. Get out of the king's forest that I chopped down. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start out small. We're not going to build a giant warehouse just yet. I'm more interested in getting the actual pits system in. But where am I going to build the pits? Okay, so first we're going to have droppers on either side of this for the dropping mechanism. So, so let's build that first. And let's see if I remember how to build droppers. They're new. I believe they are... Let's see, I got a chest full of materials here. I believe it is like a U-shape with redstone dust on the bottom center. There we go, two droppers. Ba-boom! Awesome, so there's your crafting recipe for droppers. Put one there, put one there. And then what I'm going to have is I'm going to have... Oh, get out of here! Get out of my way! God, getting in my video... I'm going to have um, kind of a series of repeaters going all the way up from the mining system connected to a button. And that's how you will trigger this. So just like this. Oh, digging straight down. That's that's frowned upon. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. So this will go all the way down to my mining system. Um, got a ways to go. I'll do that off camera because it's pretty boring. Whoa, man. Don't fall down there. And when you hit a button, when you hit a button down there, it'll trigger the dropper and drop you a pickaxe or a shovel, and that's it. That'll be nice and simple. Okay, now it's time to actually put in the pits. And if you don't know about the pits, the Pugnation Item Transportation System, I encourage you to hit that tutorial that I linked before. It'll also be linked in the description. I've also just released an updated version for the latest snapshot. That's the version that I will be building here. Because it's way more reliable and it's quite a bit more compact. So definitely a much better design. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and start building it over here. Where I'm putting all these dirt blocks to kind of level everything out. And what do I need to do this? I need a piston, I need one comparator, and I need three hoppers. So, let me go ahead and I guess I haven't showed on camera how you build a hopper yet. It's just a little V-shape like this. And then in the middle you put a chest. Boom! There's your hopper. And it only makes one. I thought it made, thought it made more than one, but it doesn't. Okay, so I need more chess I need uh, this is a three hopper design so we need two more hoppers go ahead and make those up like where did I just put those chests there there <laughs> okay and now I haven't showed anyone how to make a comparator yet for a comparator you need clean stone I only need one for this design clean stone you need one nether quartz and you need three redstone whoops we need three redstone torches so got my redstone torches put them in a pattern like that nether quartz right in the middle 
Similar to a repeater, actually. You put your clean stone on the bottom and boom! There's your comparator. Okay, so we got our three hoppers. Now the hoppers need to be placed so they kind of feed sideways. Now if you just place a hopper on the ground, you'll see it points straight down. So any items that go into it will just go straight down. In order to get it to feed sideways, you have to... Um, you have to place it into a block like this. Now you'll see that the it's actually kind of funneling into that block right there. And in order to put three in a tandem, you have to do it like this. Otherwise, if you right click on the hopper, you'll just go into this item hopper inventory screen. So that's the way you gotta do it. A little bit of a pain, but not too bad. Now for the fun part, let's build our item transportation system. So, first things first, I'm going to build a little wall around this just so I kind of have a reference point to work from. Another awesome thing about this, if you haven't checked out my tutorials, is that it's so easy to hide. Unfortunately, you're always going to see that hopper kind of sticking out. Nothing I could really do about that. But otherwise, all the circuitry is behind this wall. So, very easy build too. First things first, piston right there. And now let's get our rails ready. You need, let's see, you need a detector rail right here and normal rails right there. Now you need this to be kind of like pointing up into the hopper. In order to do that, you place a rail on top of the hopper and then simply delete it and you are good to go. Now, in order to place rail on top of the hopper, you can't just right click the hopper because you go into this inventory screen. You have to click on a block that's adjacent to it and then you can delete it and there you go so very easy build detector rail there two redstone dust redstone repeater going into a block coming out of the first hopper you have your comparator comparator needs to be facing out that way they are directional the same way repeaters are torch on top Block on top of the torch, block adjacent to the torch, block adjacent to the piston, two redstone dust, and you are done. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, unfortunately, the tedious part of this is going to be connecting this part of the rail with my mine system, which is unfortunately 60 or so blocks down below this. But So I'm going to do that off camera because that's going to be tedious and boring. Um... And then I will meet you guys back probably down below so we could work on the item transportation system component down in the mine system. All right, we're back in the mine system to make the second part of the item transportation system. So we're going to go ahead, take a hopper, place it going straight down. Above that, you're going to put a chest. And above that chest, you are going to place a button. Very simple. Yeah, behind the button you're going to put a torch. Redstone dust on this block that's behind the uh, behind the chest. Put a nice little torch there, digging straight down. <laughs> Dig out these blocks because this is where your uh, minecart is actually going to go. Dig out a few blocks here. Two booster rails there and just connect this to your boosters and now it's very simple to hide everything just take your clean stone and build your wall up ta-da all right everybody it's done it's done I have a bike cart I have a storage bike cart stored down right below here it should work I really hope it does if it works, this pumpkin pie should be able to be transported to the surface. Okay, so you see I put the pumpkin pie in the chest. It has emptied into the hopper, and the hopper should be empty too. It is. It is in the minecart. We push this button. Cross our fingers. I really hope this works. This took a really long time to build. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let's go to the top and see. Woo, I'm so excited! So excited! 
Oh man, please work. Please work. 12 pumpkin pies. 12 pumpkin pies, please. Yeah! <laughs> it works. Yes! Oh, that makes me so happy. And is it still stuck here? No, it got sent back the way it should. Oh, that makes me so happy. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the Pugnation item transportation system employed in a useful way and it works. Oh, that's, oh man, that makes me so happy. I'm so relieved. I'll take my pie and I'll eat it too. Boom. Woo! Oh man. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> All right, now we need to get the dropper system working. This should be relatively easy, especially compared to what I just did. I mean, it's going to be really easy. Uh, I just need to have a vertical repeater set on both of these going from the mine system down there all the way up to these droppers hooked up to a button and that's it. Very, very simple. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera as well and then I will demonstrate that's effectiveness. Alright, now the system to call pickaxes or shovels should all be hooked up. These two buttons are hooked up to a vertical repeater all the way up to our warehouse with our droppers. Right now our droppers are filled with pumpkin pies but you can imagine eventually one will be filled with shovels and the other one will have pickaxes so when I'm down here mining and my pickaxe or my shovel breaks and I need another one simply hit the corresponding button and down they will come and let's test this out now we should see two pumpkin pies coming down one after the other there's one and where's the other hmm Hmm, hmm, hmm. Apparently we'll have to troubleshoot something. Something's not working. Maybe I missed a torch. Placed a lot of torches on the way up. It's totally possible. Oh, there's one. Yeah, looks like I missed a torch on one of them, but oh well, we'll fix that. Anyways, I think I'm going to have hoppers down here so they fall into a hopper and then it feeds into a chest so it looks a little bit nicer. Um, but I'll do that once I have... Once I've troubleshot the one and figured out why it isn't working. Come on. Two! Alright! That's weird. I didn't end up actually changing anything. Sometimes it, you just have to hit a circuit a few times for the timing to go in. I don't know. Redstone's still a little bit buggy. Sometimes. So, I don't know. Maybe I just had to play around with it a little bit. All right, well, good. I'm glad that's working. And the item transportation system is also working. We are doing very well. All right, well, I think we have a hint as to why sometimes the pies weren't coming down. Apparently, sometimes the droppers will shoot and they'll just get stuck up here. At least that's kind of what it looks like to me. But anyways, I think that about wraps this episode up. Obviously, we haven't completed the warehouse, but... uh. Oh, hey, what's up, dog? You call this a warehouse? Well, I, th I thought it was There's pretty nothing good. here. There aren't any boxes or anything. Well, you can move items from Oh, the... so what? You can move packages well, from underground pretty... and then move them, what, into one box? Well, I'll... You think that's enough for all the cobblestone I'm... you're bringing up, you lazy bum? I'm... You didn't even oh, put any walls up I'm... yet. I'm working on it, all What right. are you thinking showing this off? It's not even near done. God, you're... I'm, I'm working now, on it. Now, don't show this warehouse again until you've increased your capacity. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I guess I know what we're doing the next episode. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. It took a very long time for me to make. If you'd like to see a tutorial for the Pugnation item transportation system, you can click in the links below in the description i have two videos out on it now one is an upgraded version for the latest snapshot which i have on now which is 13w04a of course we have a lot of work to do on this warehouse to increase the capacity all i have right now is the ability to send it to one chest but with some simple changes and some tweaks of course we can increase the capacity to infinity easily 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 but 
I've been working on this project for a very long time, and I just think it's time for me to wrap this episode up. So leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and you would like to see more like it. Leave a like for Mr. Dog, and I will see you all very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, yes you can. Oh man, we just we just solved our food problem, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Oh man, it's raining mushrooms.